Welcome guys to another episode of Super Kids. You know, April 23rd is World Book and Copyright Day. That's right. Books, books, books. Hopefully you love books and love to read. There's a famous patriot in Korea. His name is An Jung Gun. And he said that even if you don't read for one day, thorns sprout in your mouth. Ouch! Pretty serious. Well, a lot of great people have read since they were kids. And reading also helps you to answer quiz questions. Speaking of quizzes, these guys are ready. Where are you from? Home, Let's begin our adventure. <laughs> Welcome to Seoul Gyeonghun Elementary. It's a place where bright young minds can learn and tomorrow's hopes are planted and grown. Always joyful music class. The cheerful rhythm enlivens our friend's spirits. English class with native English teachers. Their abilities grow and grow through fun class time. Full of energy and spirit. Let's see how our Yonghun friends are like on the basketball court. The qualifying test. The first step towards becoming a super kid. Good luck, you guys. Yeah, 오신 것을 환영합니다. 자랑스러운 영훈 어린이 여러분, 꼭 슈퍼키즈가 되어 우리 학교를 빛내주시기 바랍니다. 영훈 학교 여러분, 사랑합니다. Let's see what fun adventures awaiting our super kids. The super kids ship set sail in search of a long hidden treasure map. Our young explorers go on wild and exciting adventures in new lands. Who will be the last one standing? Your goal in the first round is to get the advantage, to be the last team standing. My goal is to kind of trick you with some statements. Some are true, some are false. If you think the statement is true, raise your O. If you think it's false, raise your X. I'll give you a little time to talk with your team as well. Here is the first statement. Get ready. <clears throat> Humans dream every day when they sleep. Humans dream every day when they sleep. Is it true, is it false? Figure it out. X and O, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, we finally have some difference. The answer is O. The answer is O. You do, no matter what you do, but sometimes you don't remember it. Did I dream last night? I must have, but I don't remember it. Okay, next statement. One team down, one to go. After Albert Einstein died, his brain was put in a jar so the scientists could study it. Talk about it. Five, four, three, two, one. They both say yes. The answer is yes. Wow. A lot of super kids here. Very intelligent, so we keep on going with the questions. The human body part that gets cold the easiest is the hand. Five, four, three, two, one. Show it. Ah, yes, the answers are different. Sun team says O, oh. star team says X. The answer is X. <laughs> Actually, it's the neck that gets really cold. 
All right, good job, star team. You have the advantage. Let's go to round two. Three groups of kids will be on stage answering questions, trying to avoid the bomb and get a gift, but getting them right. You want to get a hat, maybe a feather. If you got three right, boom, right on the boat. Three groups of kids. But by the end of the round, only 10 will be in that boat. Let's see who gets in there. Let's go to our first group of kids and go to, uh, to Reese. Hi, Reese. Hi Isaac, hi everyone. I'm Reese and I'm back for another exciting episode of Super Kids. We're here with the star team who has the advantage and they look ready to go. So let's go to the first question. This is a ticket sold by a public organization or to raise money. When a person's ticket is chosen, that person becomes the winner of money or a prize. 23 is gonna give it a shot. 23? The answer is lottery. Yeah, good job. Very good, 23. And you get to choose which question you want next. Number two. Oh, that was a bomb, 23. So you can't answer this question, but others are coming up. Here is the question. Beethoven said that this musical instrument was a small orchestra in itself. You make a sound by plucking the strings with your fingers or a kick. Okay, let's see if 27 knows. Violin? Maybe. No, 24 is going to go for it. Guitar? Is that right? Yeah, good job. Very good. A lot of famous guitarists, including Eric Clapton. It's a great instrument. And you have a choice. The bomb's gone, so don't have to worry about that. What's your choice? Three. This is a math question. It costs 471 to make a cream-filled pastry, and the baker sells it for 501. If the baker makes and sells 300 pastries, then what is... 22. Is he good at math? 1,501. 21, we'll try. 9,000. Good job! Okay, 21, you know what to do. Choose one. Number one. In one of Aesop's fables, a donkey carrying salt on his back falls into a stream. He feels his load getting lighter as the salt melts in the water. Later on, he decides to fall into the stream again on purpose. But this time, his load gets much heavier. What is the donkey... Okay, 25. Cotton. Yeah, cotton. That's right. When cotton is not wet, it's very light. When it's wet, it gets very heavy. Okay, choose a question. Number five, please. All right, you got a gift. This is a sport where the perfect game is awarded 300 points, the maximum number of points. It is an indoor sport. 22 is going to go for it. Let's see if he knows. Bowling? He knows! My average is uh, <laughs> 27. I got to work on that game. Okay. 
Um, I think we have one more left. Let's go to our last question for these guys. The computer is made out of two different types of things. Between those two things, the part that we can see with our eyes is called... Will she be the first to get two right? Hardware? Yeah, she is! Okay, now if we go to the boat, we're gonna see one lady there who got two right. But from that team that had an advantage, I have a feeling we're gonna see more later on. That's later. Right now we go to the next team. Okay, let's see if they're ready. All right, I'm with another group of students here and they look like they're ready to go and they're looking pretty sharp, but let's put their knowledge to the test. So good luck everyone and let's get to the first question. This is something that has been enjoyed in England for a long time. It is a game where people originally used the bottom of beer barrels as a target and threw spears at it. What is this where you throw little arrows at a round target? Number 20, let's see if you know the right answer. Dots, dots. Yeah, good job. Bullseye for you, right in the middle. Excellent, you got the right answer. Let's see uh, how you do on the next question. Please choose one. Two. This is where people make comics, characters, or images that are not moving look like they are actually moving and alive. If they show a series of pictures that each show one instant of a movement, our eyes will be tricked into seeing actual movement. What is this? Number 13. Animation. Very good. There's a lot of great animation out there shown in different parts of the world made here in Korea. Okay, please choose a question. Number five. A long time ago, in Korea, gardens and parks did not have these. It is because water is naturally supposed to flow from top to bottom, and these did not do so. What are these where water sprouts up and are now common? Number 19, hang on a moment. Fountain. Good job. Sometimes you might feel lucky when you throw your coin into the fountain. Make a wish. All right. Now you have to choose a question. What's your choice? Number four. Ooh, not a lucky choice. So you got to wait this one out, but we will have another one waiting for you. Everybody else, good luck. This is a math question. There is a straight road that is 20 meters long. You want to plant trees along this road, one every four meters. If you want to plant trees from the beginning to the end... Six. Good job! That's right, from the beginning to the end, you need six trees. Excellent math skills. Now, please choose a question. Number one. This is an indoor sport that was first played in a 19th century English prison. It means to be crushed. It is a sport where people hit a rubber ball. Number 19. Squash. Give the man a feather, yeah! I think we're gonna see him on the boat. Okay, what's your choice? We have uh, one last question, so there's no choice actually. Let's go for it. Yeah, 19! 
It's going to you, buddy. This is a dog that can be seen even in ancient Greek sculptures. In Italy, they were used for hunting, and in England, they were called coach dogs and went on carriages. Does 18 know? Hooker Spaniel. You want to hear the rest of the hint? They have a white coat with black or brown spots. 13's going to give it a shot. Dalmatian. Uh -huh. Good job, everybody. Let's see. Two gentlemen now joining the one lady, making it a total of three in the boat right now. How many do we need? We need 10. That will happen soon. Let's go now to the next group of kids. Well, the Sun team looks ready, and so am I, but I want to see who gets on this boat, so let's bring on the questions. This is what the subway is called in England. The same word is used for toothpaste or watercolor containers that you squeeze to use. What is this? Of course, when you talk about toothpaste and other things, it's also in this kind of container, small container that you push the toothpaste out of. What is this? Does number two know? Tube. Yeah, you got it. Okay, number two, which question would you like? Five. This is a tool that people have been using since the Stone Age. It is made out of a thin sheet of steel whose edges have sharp teeth to cut through wood or metal. In Korean traditional fairy tales... Okay, number one. X. Nope. Just a moment, please. Saw. Good job, it is saw. Yes, it's got that, uh, those teeth and the blade, the saw. Cuts wood really easily. All right, what uh, question would you like? Number four. This is a math question. There was a bus with 20 passengers going across downtown Seoul. At the next stop, three people get off and four people get on. At the stop after that, seven people get off and two people get on. Then, how many passengers? Number one's gonna give it a try. Let's see if she knows. 16. Okay, number one, please choose another question. Number three. This was invented in 1590 Netherlands by Hans Janssen. It is a great tool for research in the sciences such as medicine or biology. It is a tool that lets you see something very small Microscope. Yeah, that's right. Good job. Not a telescope, but a microscope. Excellent. Okay. What's your choice? Number two. Oh, man. Gotta wait this one out, but there's another one after this. Here's the question. Along with baseball, this sport will not be a part of the 2012 Summer Olympics in England. This is a ball game that originated from baseball. Okay, number 10. Let's see if you know. Cricket. Softball. Very good, yeah. Excellent job. Now we have one more question left. If behind this there's a gift, 
it goes to you. All right. This is an imaginary animal from Western mythology. It is so strong that no one can beat it, but it loses all strength in front of a young maiden. It has a habit of falling asleep on maiden's laps. It has one horn sticking out of its forehead. Unicorn. Okay, the boat has been filled with 10 individuals. Let's see who is moving on. More adventures await. We pulled up the anchor, we're ready to go. It's time to go to... Round three! Yeah, let's go! Okay, first, let's see how these amazing 10 will do battle. Let's see who fights against whom. In this round, we go around the world and choose continents and have questions on those continents. But before we go there, we always love to have, if we can, a great performance. And it looks like today we'll have a special performance, right? That's right, Isaac. We have a very special performance today from India. And that's why I'm wearing these Indian clothes. These are called the Salwar Kameez, but you've probably heard more about the Sari, which is what our very special performer is wearing today. Looks very nice, but I'm also wondering about the instrument. It kind of looks like a Korean gayagum. Um, can we find out more about it? You're right, Isaac. That's what I thought too. But, you know, why don't we find out a bit more about it from the woman herself? Hi. This instrument is called Veena. It's a stringed instrument, and it is representative of Indian classical music. This Veena has got seven strings, and uh, in order to play this Veena, you pluck it with the right hand like this and also push them down with the left hand. And this veena is usually played solo. And we're going to get a very special solo performance today. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big hand of applause. Vina performance was awesome. I always love that part of a show when we can take a break and experience culture. Now we've got some uh, questions, very important questions. Two people ready to do battle? Let's spin the wheel. It's Asia. Okay, 
We've got to get two right to move on, guys. First question is actually related to these clay figures. These are miniatures, but originally thousands were found and they were 1.8 meters tall. This is in China. Now, when they were discovered, all of them had different facial expressions. Amazing when you see them, but we can only bring their miniatures in. Here's your question related to these. Listen carefully. Emperor Qin Shi Huang was the first emperor to unify China. In preparation for his death, he ordered an underground palace to be built, along with this. He also ordered the creation of thousands of clay soldiers and horses that will protect this. It apparently took around 700,000 people to build this. Yes, 19? Tum. Is that the correct answer? Yes, it is. Very good. Yep, they didn't need pyramids. They had these very special tombs indeed. Okay, so got to get two right. Here's the next question. This was first invented in the 13th century during the Goryeo dynasty in Korea. Germany's Johann Gutenberg also discovered this 200 years later. What is this that was first invented in Korea? A. The alphabet B. The paper C. Metal movable type Yes, 19? A metal movable type If that's right, he's moving on. Good job! Okay, pick your spot. Two more combatants ready to do battle. Spin the wheel, let's see where we go. Let's go there. Three questions ready. Two, you gotta get right. Here's the first one. Australia is famous for water sports, especially in Cairns. You can see a lot of different water sports in action. Which of the following is not a water sport? A, windsurfing, B, scuba diving, C, paragliding, or D? Number five. Paragliding. Okay. Good job, good job. Your opponent knew it as well, but didn't press the buzzer quick enough. Here's the next question. Fiji is home to a special way of cooking called lovo, which uses the heat from the ground to cook. You dig a hole and place heated stones in the hole. Then you wrap food in the leaves of this plant and cook it on the stones for three to four hours. The leaves of this can be so big that they can get over three meters long. What is the long yellow fruit? Yes, number 24. Bananas. Uh -huh. So they wrap the food up in this, the giant banana leaves and do the cooking. All right, we've got one more. Let's break the tie. Got to have someone moving on. This from Australia is very famous. It makes the body warm and helps you digest food. It tastes sweet and is good for your health. Bears especially love this. What is this? Number five. Honey. If she's right, she's moving on. Is she correct? Yeah, congratulations. Two ladies ready to go, go, go. Let's go. Be America? I believe it is. This is called Inushuk. Now, tribes in North America, like the Inuit and also the Yupiks, they would stack stones up like this, 
And so our question is about this. Take a listen. The Inukshuk is a stone landmark that can be found in the Arctic tundra region. Which of the following does the Inukshuk not represent? A. Signs for hunting grounds. B. Road sign. C. Food storing place. D. School. Number 21. D is cool. Is that right? Yes, it is. Very good. Still questions ready? Both can make it. Here's the next question. This lake is located in the Andes Mountains in Peru. It is located 3,810 kilometers above sea level, making it the highest lake in the world. The lake is sacred because there is a legend that the founder of the Incan Empire was born there. What is this lake? A. Victoria B. Titicaca C. Baikal D. Caspian All right, 20. P. Is that right? Yes, it is. The highest lake in the world. Okay, it's tied up. Let's break the tie. Next question. In the American movie King Kong, first made in 1933, the main character is named Kong. That is because the people who live on Skull Island in the middle of the Indian Ocean called him Kong. What is this animal? Number 21. Gorilla. That's right. Please move on. Three spots are filled. Two to go. Spin the wheel, please. America again. You guys know how it works. Here's the first question. This is a multiple choice question. This is the world's largest tree. It can be found in a national park in the Sierra Nevada mountains of California. They grow to be 83 meters tall. What is this tree that is around 3,000 to 4,000 years old? Number 25. Oak. You can wait 13, it's a multiple choice. Here are the choices. A, poplar. B, sequoia. C, pine. D, ginkgo. Your choice. B. That's right. Good job. They are amazing to see. Really tall, really big Sequoia National Forest. Truly an amazing place. Okay, next amazing question coming your way. In 1620, the pilgrims went from England to the United States on the Mayflower ship. They started celebrating Thanksgiving when they wanted to give thanks to God for their first harvest. The pilgrims cooked this and ate it. 25. Turkey. Is that right? She ties it up, good job. I like dark meat, what can I say? Big turkey, mm. Okay, next delicious question. This could be the tiebreaker. Here it is. There's a special tradition for celebrating New Year's Day in Mexico. When the clock strikes midnight on January 1st, people make a wish while eating 12 of these fruit to match the 12 strikes of the clock tower. People eat it raw, dried, or made into juice. When it's dried, it's called a raisin. It is also the main... 13, first to press down. Grape. Is that the right answer? Move on! Right now we have a nice balance, two ladies and two gentlemen. 
in those final spots. One more spot to fill. Let's do it. Spin the wheel, please. Looks like it's going to be Africa. This is a plant that grows in the wetlands around the coast of the Mediterranean Sea. They grow to be one to two meters tall. People in ancient Egypt would cut them and glue them together to make paper. The English word paper comes from the name of this plant. Number 22. Papyrus. Is that the right answer? Aha, uh -huh, it is. Good job. I've also heard papyrus, but either way, doesn't matter how you say it, that's the right answer. Next one. The following is a multiple choice question. Which of the following does not touch Africa? A. Atlantic Ocean. B. Pacific Ocean. Number 22 again. B. Pacific Ocean. If he's right, he's moving on. Is he right? Good job, buddy. Before we move on to the next round, we want to thank this lady who is amazing today. Nice costume, got the bracelet, got the necklace, everything. Thanks, thanks so much, Reese. Thanks so much for having me. I had another great time here on Super Kids, and I can't wait to find out who the Super Kid is going to be today. We can't either. We've got to find a school champion first. Let's go to the next round. Fantastic Five have made it to the final round here, almost the final round. This is the round where we find a school champion and they go to the super round. Before we go there, these guys have a lot of hurdles. Who are these guys? Check them out. Great job so far. That's why we give them 100 points and we give them more points as they get questions right. 10, 20, 30 points. Now, want to see the categories? Check them out. All right, my favorite, as you may know, is Global Friends. That's where we go. It's worth 20 points. Good luck to all of you. Here's the question. Super kids, it's great to meet you guys. My name is Shannon and I study in New York State in the United States. I'm going to give you a question about the city I live in. Guess which city this is that is located in western New York State. The city started a famous dish with chicken wings. It is a dish where chicken wings are fried and then coated in a sauce made of hot peppers, vinegar, butter, salt, and garlic. People put the city's name in front of the words chicken wings. The name of the city is also the name of an animal. This is a wild animal that is like a large cow with horns that curve upwards. What is the city name that is also an animal name? Number 22. Kentucky. Is it Kentucky? No. Number 5. Buffalo. Buffalo? Yeah, that's right. Most people think of New York, just New York City, Manhattan, but no, it's very big, mostly country, and further up towards the north, very nice place, Buffalo, New York. Standing in front of a big buffalo, too. Thank you very much, global friend. Okay, number five, I talked about this time being a time for books. So how often do you read books? Every day? 
I read every day, but only a small amount. Okay, do you have a favorite kind of book? Uh, my favorite kind of book is fantasy. Fantasy, cool. Okay, well, please choose a fantastic category. Sport. Sport. The first example of this was in the Netherlands in the 1700s when a person put round spools of thread on the bottom of their shoes. This requires shoes that each have one row of wheels stuck to them. You should always wear a helmet and other safety gear while doing this. What is this sport where people wear shoes that have wheels on them? 22. Inline skate. Is that right for 10 points? Yes, it is. So, number 22, one of the people there said they like fantasy novels, fantasy stories. What kind do you like, and do you have a favorite type of story? I like nonfiction, but I like Harry Potter, too. Okay, good choice. Please choose a category. Shapes. Please listen to the whole question before answering. When shape A is matched up with any two of the following shapes, B, C, D, and E, they make a rectangle. What are the alphabet letters of the two other shapes that can be used to create a rectangle? Number 21. C. 13. C and D. Yeah, you got it. Let's stay on books. 13, how many books do you think you read in one week? Two or three books. Two or three books a week. All right, very good. Now choose a category. Map. Maps use symbols so that anyone can understand them easily. The following are symbols that are used in Korean maps. They mean the same thing. What do they represent? Number 19. Uh, post office. Good job. <laughs> 19. Recommend a book to me. A book that you like. Say, Isaac, you gotta read this one book. Which book do you recommend? How to Train Old Dragon or... Ah, wasn't that a movie also? Yes. You, did you see the movie? No, not yet. Okay. I want to do both, read and see the movie. So, your choice. Invention. This was patented by Germanis Melzo. He made it by improving the hearing aid he created for Beethoven. At the time, Beethoven was losing his hearing, and this allowed him to count the beat with his eyes. It uses the idea of the pendulum, and it is often used for counting the beat while practicing on the piano. What is this? 22. Metronome. Whoa. All right. Let's check out the scoreboard real quick. That was worth 30 points. So helped 22 jump into the lead. Number five is 120. 13 tied, also 120 points. 19, not far behind with 110. 21, 100. And 22 in the lead, like I said, 140. Very good. 22, choose away. Group. This means a round table in Italian. It was first started in England in 1946. Currently, it has around 100,000 members in over 100 countries. It is a group made up of people whose IQ scores... Number 21. Mensa. Bingo! Good job! Everybody's on the board. Everybody has a score. 21. What kind of books do you like? I like novels. Novels. Big, thick ones with tons of pages? Uh, I like them too, but I like short ones too. Okay. So, which uh, category do you like? Uh, I like movie. Movie's the category. 30 points.
This was first started in England. Nowadays, it is used in many other countries, such as Korea, Greece, and Argentina. It is a law where movie theaters must play a certain number of films from their own countries in a set period of time. This law was made to protect the country's national film industry. What is this? Hmm, not easy, but uh, definitely an issue in Korea. Very, very popular films in Korea. Because of so many popular films, actually, people thought, well, why should we have this? But the point is to protect films, the country's films. So a certain percentage of domestic films, Korean films, must be shown. What is this? Certain number, certain percentage. You can't show Hollywood films or Bollywood films or French films all the time. A certain percentage must be shown. Korean films must be shown. Five seconds. The answer is screen quota. Screen quota. So there's a certain amount, certain percentage that must be shown. 30 points. Bye, bye, bye. So, want to choose again? Equal. For 10 points. Look at the relation between the following words. Then, figure out what word should go in the blank. Pig is to pork equals cow is to blank. 22. Uh, beef. He says beef. Yep. Last category is worth 30 points. Anything can happen. Last question, big question category, literary form. And we've been talking about books. Here is the last big question. This is made by using or changing something that was previously written by a different person. It is usually funny because it exaggerates or makes fun of something. This exists in novels, music, art, movies, commercials, and TV shows. What is this? 21. Remake? Is it remake? No. I'll give you three seconds, and then I'll give another hint. And 21 will come back to life. Three, two, one. OK. Now, it's kind of humor. It's funny, usually. And it's kind of imitating. For example, there was a famous Michael Jackson song. Beat it, beat it. Then there was this kind of a remake, a funny version by somebody who said, eat it, eat it. That was a joke song. It imitates, it does something. It's a type of form, form of comedy. I'm going to give you five seconds, guys. Good luck. The answer, parody, parody. Yes, I hear a lot of, oh, yeah, that's right, parody. Kind of exaggerating, making fun of. Well, it's no exaggeration, folks. 22 is a school champion. And moving on to the next round, congratulations! <laughs> Well, we're here, final round. Treasure chest is waiting, it's got the hints. We need one person, who do we need? Vincent! Come on out! <laughs> All right, so how do you feel? I'm a little bit nervous. Understandable, did an awesome job so far. Here you are, school champion. Now, I was talking with you earlier, and you said that um, you like nonfiction. Yes. You like Harry Potter. But nonfiction, can you be more specific? What kind of stories do you like? I like 
famous people's story. Stories of famous people. Okay. And where do you like to read? In your house, the library, where in the house? I like uh, I like to read books in my house, especially bed. Very comfortable. Gotta be comfortable when you read. And uh, do you read every day, weekends? Not every day, but I read weekends and three times a weekday. Wow, okay. So you're a big fan of reading and obviously it helped you get here. So now we need you to read two more things. You gotta choose a color and read the hints. Okay. Open it up, it's not easy. It's kind of an IQ test. There you go, you passed the test. Art and every day two years. Let's see. Art and every two years. Now, of course, you're gonna hear some more information, but think about art and every two years, connect it with the information, and then I'll give you 10 seconds. You can guess before then if you want, but if it's after 10 seconds, then you're only school champion. We want you to be a super kid. You ready? Yes. All right, good luck. This promotes new art. It started out as a way to shine light on artists from all around the world who are young or not very well known. In Italian, it means every two years. It is an international art exhibition that takes place every two years. The one that takes place in Venice is especially famous. Gwangju in Korea also hosts one as well. What is this? You know what it is, Min Su? I need an answer before the end of 10 seconds. Ooh, time is up, and the answer is... Finale. Did you guys have a good time? Yeah! You want to come back again? Yeah! Do you love books? Yeah! All right, well, whether you love reading or not, folks, hopefully you love Super Kids and come back again. We got to go. Bye bye. Bye! The Super Kid wins a laptop computer, the school champion, a Nintendo Wii, second place, MP3 players. Super Kids is sponsored by Avalon English, your English cornerstone.